Alright, this took a lot longer than I thought it would take, but here we are. Um, FCS football, that is right. We are here. What is this, week four? Yeah, week four, I believe, that we are on right now. Um, so, yeah, what are the big things that happened this week? Well, there was a lot. There was a lot that happened. Let's start on Thursday. We have North Dakota. That's right. The Fighting Hawks are 3-0. They, they beat up on South Dakota. I mean, it was really close. I mean, I ended up having to cut the game off after halftime. Uh, my game was buffering out like crazy. And it was just rough. It was just rough to watch. You know, it was just rough to watch it that first half because it was so so many so much buffering, so much all that nonsense, you know, with ESPN plus and streams and stuff like that, you know, so so much buffering, but North Dakota has gotten I mean they have exceeded expectations. They have exceeded expectations in, in this season so far. Three and oh Likely a you know a top team you know probably number one based on their wins right now, you know and it's crazy. Um, Albany, New Hampshire. Now this game is technically a elimination game because remember there's only you know six at large spots this year and this basically was an elimination game. You know Albany had we're talking there were kicker errors all over the place. I saw this game starting in the second half. Under Cuffler, you know, he, he did great out there. New Hampshire did great out there as well. You know, there was just some bad plays in this game, especially that punt that was not a punt at all. It was one of the worst punts I've ever seen in my entire life, but Albany gets the W, though. They get the W. Um, Delaware. Delaware is a pretty interesting team. They beat up on Maine. I mean, they blew about 37 to nothing. Gotta, gotta hand it to them. Gotta hand it to Delaware they, they, again. You now the CAA is a very strong conference, pretty comparable to like say maybe the ACC, Big Ten, you know, one of those two, you know, or maybe even the Big Twelve. I, I don't really know right now, but but I'll, I'll do accurate conference comparisons later. Uh, but we got to talk about Dion, Dion, prime time, man. That was a fun game, Jackson State, Grappling State. Too bad the refs were all over it though. All over it. Refs were atrocious in this game. We're talking about home cooking right there. You know, it was it was a really, really entertaining game. You know, back and forth, you know, both teams kinda, you know, had had their way with it at one point. And ultimately Jackson State ends Grambling State's home winning streak of what, seventeen plus? Crazy stuff right there. Uh, there's, there's a bunch of other games as well that happened. You know, James Madison, they struggled a little bit with Elon, but that's okay. You know, they are still undefeated. They're probably the number one team in the country. You know, two as well. You know, you can make an argument for that as well. Uh, Big Sky games, you know, you can make some good arguments in these games as well. You know, like Idaho, you know, they lost to UC, UC Davis. You know, don't know how that's going to go. Because they had a big time victory against Eastern Washington, and now they now they've squandered, you know, a little bit of opportunity right there with the loss to UC Davis and North Dakota State. Back on track, they shut out Missouri State. You know, back on track. Um, in a uh, in another interesting battle, you know, Northern Iowa gets the, gets the nod over Illinois State. You know, they beat it by ten. And again, I mean, there's just a lot of intriguing storylines going on here. Let's let's just keep going. Let's just keep going to these Sunday games real quick. Again, this this also is technically could be an eliminator. Uh, Duquesne, Sacred Heart, and Duquesne got him. Duquesne got the W there, and you know it was just it was just like it was, you know. And uh, I think. At the end of the day, you know, the NEC is going to be an interesting, you know, place to be at, you know, with the conference championship game in April and everything like that, how that's going to go. Maybe these two, again, maybe these two teams will meet up again soon. You never know. Um, last, but certainly not least, uh, here's some other stuff in the background. That's not me. That's some other stuff going on. Last but not least, New Mexico State, they finished up their spring schedule with a victory against Dixie State. We were wondering, 
know, was Mexico State going to even win one of their two games, you know? After getting beat up by Tarleton State, you know, Dixie State, who beat up on Tarleton State as well, you know, played, played New Mexico State really tough. I mean, it's okay, you almost got the W, but in the end, New Mexico State finally got something, they finally got something positive out of the season. They're the last FBS team to get a victory this year, so good for them. Uh, we got a lot of stuff for next Saturday and Sunday. And it's going to be interesting, but I'll see y'all about, I'll talk to y'all about that on Thursday. So, y'all take care. Have a good day. I'll see you soon.